How you doing? This is Sean from Sean's Fish Tanks, and uh, I just wanted to give you guys an update on the tank. Just got the 20 inch Synergy Reef Ghost Overflow in. Um, installed it yesterday. Installed my return line right underneath it. Had to pick up an extension for it. Um, it's not perfectly in place where I want it right now, but. Um, Tank's really dirty too. I'm in the process of building it. Um, but I think it came out really nice. Um, like I said in my earlier videos, I'm not gonna have the water level all the way up to the top. I wanna have motion and I'm afraid of splashing. And I, it's just a look I've always had and the look I like. Um, similar to a rimless tank, except for it's not gonna be all the way to the top, just in case I wanna get a lot of motion going. And um, it's also good for your jumpers. Uh, over the years, I've had tanks where the water level was a little bit lower and your jumpers can't jump out. So this is my new reefscape. Um, I started using Marco Cement last night with Marco Rock. I've got plenty of places for corals. Um, let me give you this shot over here. Um, I've got um, all kinds of hiding spaces on the side. Um, I don't know if you can make this spot out here. Plenty of spots up top. I think I got five mounting stations. They're not too close together. Fairly spaced out. Spot right there where I'm thinking about putting other corals. I may even put some of my soft coral in here in LPS. Um, I'm debating on that. Um, just because I have a lot of spots and lower levels that I've designed with the rock. So I ordered the Reef Saver Shelf Rock um which from brs i ordered five pieces i believe the more expensive shelf rock um they're supposed to be 18 inches or longer and i put that together last night um cemented it up it's supposed to adhere real fast now my previous scapes i would use super glue gel and that worked tr tremendously well this time I tried the Marco cement and in the morning it was supposed to be completely dry. And I don't think I mixed some of the batches um, properly at the beginning. So those pieces started to separate. So I ended up picking up some more super glue gel just to make sure the structures are sound when they're hitting the ground, um, the bottom of the tank. Um, I also put this acrylic sheet in here, which is something I normally don't do. I usually just put the rock right on the glass but I wanted a little extra support. I'm even thinking about having a small sand bed. And if I don't, I know the coral will fill in around the rocks and you'll never even know it's there. Um, you know, I know there'll be some trolls on here that won't like it, but you know, it is what it is. Um, I like it. And a lot of my friends and people that follow me with fish tanks like my aquascapes, has plenty of space for aquapora um, and mounting areas. These big shelf rocks are actually really, really big. It looks small from a distance where I'm filming from, but these things are huge plates and I've got plenty of space in between. This was a nice long piece, the top piece over here. Um, so I'm really impressed with the rock, really impressed with the way it came out. Um, towards the top and middle structures was a lot more sound with that. Um, Marco's cement, um, but it seemed to go really well. Um, and I know I mentioned Pelfrey the other day. I don't know if he's watched my first video. He probably hasn't, but um, he's busy doing his own, you know, YouTube fame videos. But um, this is one of the success stories I have is just using Calquasser. It raises the pH and the pH of the tank. Um, and just keeps everything stable. I started doing this maybe five, six years ago. And then it's part of the reason why I like Jake Adams because he uses calc washer in most of his tanks and in every tank he has, reef, reef tank. And um, it just keeps everything stable, higher pH and allows your corals to really grow, cuts down on allergy. And uh, yeah, so Palfrey, if you are watching, this is my latest update and uh, I'll keep you informed on how things go. Um, there'll be some changes to come very shortly and uh, it'll be interesting. I'm going to get this up and running as soon as possible. 
and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Later.